This world is truly full of wonders. Many different unique things are present in this world. In today's video, we will be looking at seven of the rarest and weirdest creatures that have ever walked or crawled across the planet Earth. From a giraffe having a 90 angle degree neck to the cats who can glow in the dark, today's video has it all. So without any further delay, let's dive into the video. Number 7. Two-Headed Snake Two-headed animals are seen to be a sign of impending doom in many cultures, and they have frequently appeared in mythology. However, despite the rare 1 in 100,000 live births in the wild, two-headed snakes do appear on a routine basis. Two-headed snakes often have one head that is somewhat larger than the other, and the heads have been known to battle over food, oblivious to the fact that whatever they consume will end up in the same digestive tract. Some scientists say that two heads work independently of one another and that such a creature would struggle to survive in the wild because of its slow movement and vulnerability to predators. The common idea has always been that you should always be wary of snakes and never trust them. But what happens when the snake is not only a snake but also two-faced? Both snake heads have tongues that can flick, and each reacts to movement in its own way. Experts say the enigmatic dual head syndrome is most likely the consequence of two twins failing to separate during embryo development, resulting in a one-of-a-kind and slightly bizarre-looking snake. But don't imagine that having two heads makes them unstoppable. In fact, it appears that the opposite is true. Having two heads appears to be inefficient when it comes to getting things done. The two brains are often at odds with one another, taking wildly different approaches to problems, making it impossible to flee predators. If you ask us, having one brain cell is better than having two brains. Number 6. Glow in the Dark Cats Although there have never been any natural occurring glow in the dark cats in our natural world, every cat was born at some point. So in our viewpoint, this counts. Cat owners may find glow-in-the-dark kitty useful. You'll never trip over your cat again at night. But the Mayo Clinic scientists who made this illuminating cat have a bigger goal in mind. That is curing AIDS. A variant of the green fluorescent protein that lights up the crystal jelly, a type of jellyfish found off the west coast of the United States, is responsible for the cat's glow. Scientists discovered years ago that the GFP gene serves as an excellent identifier for inserting a new gene into an organism. They could easily see if they were successful by adding a version of GFP along with their gene of choice, as the animal would glow. Many glowing animals have been created since the technology was initially invented, including pigs, mice, dogs, and even pet store fish. The Mayo Clinic researchers put a version of the GFP gene, along with a gene from the rhesus macaque that prevents the feline immunodeficiency virus or FIV, the virus that causes feline AIDS, into the unfertilized eggs of a cat. After the eggs were fertilized, the kittens became green, indicating that they contained the anti-FIV gene as well. Even better, the anti-FIV gene was passed down to later generations of cats. The researchers will need to undertake more research to see if the anti-FIV gene works in cats. Research co-author Eric Poshla told Live Science, We haven't demonstrated AIDS-resistant cats. We still need to conduct infection tests on whole cats. However, the fact that the protective gene is expressed in the cat lymphoid organs, where AIDS virus propagation and cell death occur most frequently, is encouraging. However, the ultimate goal of this line of research is to figure out how to make humans immune to HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. The researchers want to see if they can protect the domestic cat from the AIDS virus, if we can protect any species, including ours, from the AIDS virus. Number 5. Cyclops Goat India may be one of the few places on the planet where goats may become something other than bearded mammals. This goat may not be worshipped as a deity, but it's just as fascinating as any other mutant goat. It's only a matter of time before we have a goat-based X-Men series. When this young goat was born with a single gigantic eye in the center of its face, it defied all odds and lived to tell the tale. Okay, it didn't live very long, dying only 8 days later, but considering the conditions, that's 8 days longer than anyone could have imagined. The goat was born in a village in Assam, India and was suffering from cyclopia. Cyclopia occurs when the growing brain fails to divide into two hemispheres, resulting in a single eye socket in the skull. The condition can affect almost any living species and usually has negative consequences. Other physical defects in this goat's case included missing eyelashes, eyelids, one ear, many teeth, an undeveloped nose, and a shorter jaw. But hey, 
no one's perfect. Number 4. Giant Weta The Giant Weta is one of the world's largest insects, overshadowing most insects and even small rodents. The little barrier giant Weta, also known as Weta Punga, is another giant Weta species. These animals are true monsters, as they may grow to be 71 grams in weight, which is larger than a sparrow. Although the giant Weta is not dangerous to humans, it's dangerous to other wildlife. In New Zealand, there are approximately 70 Weta species. The largest of these species is Weta Punga. Weta Punga eats fresh leaves and prefers large leaf native plants including Karaka, Karamu, Mangi, Mo, and Kohikoha. Weta is derived from the Maori term Weta Punga, which means God of Ugly Things. So not very polite. Unless you happen to be on a New Zealand offshore island, your chances of seeing one of these in the wild are slim to none. This is largely due to mammalian pests feeding on them, which has led to their near extinction. If that's the case, your chances are somewhat better than zero. If you find the road to Bunga to be particularly frightening, don't worry. They're not particularly social animals and will keep their distance from you unless you appear particularly charming. Even then, they'll be obsessed with their own activities and are unlikely to be concerned with what you're doing. Even though it resembles a large cricket, giant wettas are too heavy to fly. Although some of its relatives such as the tree weta are more active and can jump, giant weta is firmly rooted to the ground. Giant wettas are close to extinction thanks to rats. Little Barrier Island, about 50 miles northeast of Auckland, is now believed to be the only place where giant wettas may be found. Several conservation organizations have been raising gigantic wettas in captivity to enhance their numbers. In 2013, the Auckland Zoo had to hire new workers to feed all the baby wetapunga that had hatched. The zoo released 150 gigantic wettas on the island of Tiritiri Matangi in May 2014. The most interesting thing about the species is that giant wettas are older than some of the dinosaurs. Fossils from the Triassic period, 190 million years ago, bear significant resemblance to the weta that now lives in New Zealand. Number 3. Leucistic White Alligator As if these massive legendary reptiles weren't already magnificent, the rare leucistic white alligators are even more so. They have been described as ethereal, ghostly and most often, gorgeous. They have transparent white skin and dark blue eyes with flecks of pigmentation scattered around. Leucism is an uncommon disorder that results in pink eyes and no pigmentation at all. Not to be confused with albinism, which leads to no pigmentation at all. The point is that it's an alligator with translucent white skin and blue eyes. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these gorgeous animals in the world, and there's a valid reason for that. The advantage of being a green gator is that you can hide, but it's not so easy when you're translucent white. As a result, most leucistic white alligators die young. There are just 12 known leucistic alligators in the world today, and discovering a white alligator is a one in a million chance. The only thing they have in common with regular alligators is that they eat everything from fish and snails to nutria and turtles, just like regular alligators. Number 2. Giraffe with Crook Neck Giraffes are known for their long, straight necks, yet not all giraffes are born like that. Meet Jamina, a 12-foot-tall bingo giraffe who is recognized for her unusual malformation, a crooked neck. This abnormality was not there when Jamina was born in the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Animal Park, and she was moved to the Santa Barbara Zoo at the age of one. Everything was good for a couple of years, but by the end of the third year, her unusual condition has shown itself, with her neck vertebrae protruding abnormally from her neck. Her C3 and C4 vertebrae were over 90 degrees bent on x-rays of her neck. However, biologists, zoologists, and veterinarians were baffled as to why this was the case. There was no trace of an accident, damage, or any other obvious cause for such a pronounced bent. Jamina is one of the rare animals on her list who lived to be a good old age. She lived for 22 years at the zoo and was a popular animal. Who wouldn't want to see a giraffe with a right angle neck? This is something you don't even see in cartoons. Number 1. Pink Grasshopper When we think of grasshoppers, we think of small green bugs who can't seem to remain still. But not all of them are green. Some, like this one, are a beautiful shade of pink. When Alison Barger's son Brooks found this beautiful looking creature, she was amazed by its beauty. 
she spent a lot of time telling the little guy how cute this unusual looking grasshopper was. But it wasn't until Allison googled the bug that she realized how rare it was. The pink grasshoppers obtain their blushing color from an odd genetic condition called erythrism, which is produced by a recessive gene identical to the one that affects albino animals. The mutation causes a reduction or absence of normal pigment, as well as an overproduction of other pigments such as red, resulting in pink variants in these colorful insects. Although this mutation was initially detected in the catedid species in 1887, these pink variants are extremely rare. According to National Geographic, these unusual bubblegum-colored hoppers seldom reach adulthood because their bright hue provides poor protection against plants, making them easy to notice by predators. If they live to adulthood, they can lose their pinkness, keep their pinkness, or be a mix of the two. This brings our video to an end. If you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest update. Tell us in the comment box if you have ever come across some animals or insects that were so unusual that made you look twice.